Hi guys, Paul here from Merrick Property Group and today in our help series, we're bringing you something super important. We're going to introduce you to Mr. Nick Fuller from EJF Services. Uh, Nick's our resident handyman, he's our go-to guy. We'd be quite frankly lost without him. So uh, Nick, welcome to the couch. Thanks mate, thanks yeah. Paul, it's good to be here. <laughs> Nick, thanks again. Can you tell us a little bit about EJF Services? Well, EJF Services um, was a company I started six or seven years ago. It's realising there's a niche market for expertise in, in household maintenance and residential maintenance. Um, the letters in the name are actually my daughter's name. Oh, nice. It's Aaron I was, was going to ask you about that, actually. Yeah, yeah so um, that's sort of a little bit of a personal touch to it. But I keep it simple. I have uh, just myself doing the work. Yes. Um, Keeping, keeping on top of things is hard when you've got other people involved and you would like to have your quality of service at the level that you can provide yourself. Yes. Um, so I've found over the years that keeping that level of service is important and keeping it, keeping control of all your clients and customers and jobs. I think from um, the many jobs we've uh, sent in your direction over time, I think that's probably one of the things that hits home the most is that the people that you you know, we know we're sending the work through to you, you're doing the work, we know you've got the experience, we know the people are going to be looked after and that gives them peace of mind as well. So. And, that, that, and that's, that's, that's important in the market today that, that, that people get that confidence because mm. quite often they're going on the internet and they're, they're just dialing in a service and they have no idea who's on the other end of the phone, yeah. they have no idea if they're local or in the area yeah. uh, and, and quite often they can get caught out with people branching out into areas and branching out of their expertise yeah. and especially important when it comes to insurance and licensing mm. there's people that are out there operating outside of those boundaries yes. and and operating in your environment without insurance which can turn uh, bad on yourself so yeah, absolutely. having all those checks and balances in place is important for a company like mine absolutely to give everyone peace of mind that that they're getting what they're paying for they're getting the service they're paying for and the insurance that comes along with that. If, yes. there, if there is ever any issue, uh, you've always got something to fall back fall on. Back. That's a good point. Now, um, what sort of jobs do you do? What, is, what are the most common, particularly, I guess, if someone's, uh, uh, say, for example, you know, we've got someone that's about to put their house up for sale and uh, there's a few things that maybe need addressing around the property. What are some of the most common jobs or the most regular work that you do? Look, in, in prep, Prep for sale, it's an important facet of, of my business and I often suggest things that would stand out on a building and pest inspection. Yes. Uh, I'll often uh, suggest uh, exterior cleans, yes. cobwebs, all that sort of stuff. Presentation is key. Yes. Also making sure all your windows and doors and locks, the simple stuff, yes. because people get turned off by not being able to open the bathroom door and not, and once you have one issue, people start looking for other issues. So true. Mm. And once they get, and then they get out the other other side of it. So, just those simple little things like locks and windows and fly screens, make sure they're not hanging off the house, uh, and the exterior presentation. Yes. The interior, for some people, is not important because they're flipping or they're they're, they're renovating. It depends on the buyer. It, yep. it depends on the yep. buyer, but. Um, I think a lot of young couples nowadays don't have the uh, opportunity of having extra funds to go straight into a renovation. Yes. So keeping ke ready to ready to move in stage uh, without expense and low maintenance is a big issue for buyers. So would you say in a lot of cases, um, and I know from our experience this is very much the case, there's often uh, a few hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or whatever it may be that can be spent that could actually save tens of thousands of dollars in a negotiation. A hundred percent. Or an issue with the building report. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and that when it comes down to the nuts and bolts of, of the biggest purchase of your life, which is the biggest emotional uh, purchase, yes. and a lot of people uh, are, are more informed nowadays because of the internet and, and all the flipping shows, and yes. you know, they, they, they've got a different level of, of requirement and a different level of, um, I suppose, expectations on what they're getting for their money. Yes. So I think, the importance of, of having all of those little things, you know, set in stone and, and locked away, and no expense when they move in, yes, gives them peace of mind. But preparation's key. Preparation is key. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic.
All right, Nick. Well, before we let you go, mate, thanks again for your time no today. Worries. Can you give us, uh, say we've got a prospective seller about to put their place on the market, what would be your three best tips you could give to those people? I suppose the, the, the three best tips would be consider the presentation of your property. Uh, the second thing would be to make sure you've decluttered and there's no obvious hazards around, around the, the house or, or uh, cracked footpaths and that sort of stuff is, is a major turn off. Yes. And the third thing is not as important, but make sure everything's worked, like your little locks and doors and, uh, you know, your front door's not scraping. Detail. Just the little details. Yeah. Maybe do yourself a checklist of, of, yes. of things that you think that you've been holding off on yes. for, for ages, <laughs> and now it's come time to sell, they've got to come to the front of your mind. So I think the checklist yes. for the, is number three for me. Great advice, great advice. Mate, thanks again for your time. No uh, we'll put your details up on this post as well, so if anyone wants to get in contact with you, whether yep. they're selling or whether they just want to get onto those jobs that they haven't actually got to, um, Give me a list. we know we can trust you and we appreciate yep. your time. Thanks, no worries. Mate. Thanks, Paul. Good on you. Good on you.